Hi guys, I'm here to review another game by my students. This game is made by Kai Sing, who's in Form 3. He decided to do a tower defense game in uh, Scratch, which I find it uh, quite difficult and challenging. But nevertheless, he did deliver and it did far ex uh, exceed my expectations. Okay, uh, let's just start the game first. Okay, so here you can uh, decide on which tower you want to buy. You have to buy the $100 tower first, the cheap one. Okay, note that uh, the tower is actually uh, shooting the objects or the balloons, the enemies, it is able to track it. Okay, when he was doing this at the start, he had a challenge uh, coding this part and I had to break my head with him and I said, uh, we have to use cause and sign to be able to calculate the angle between the tower and the object. And uh, I said, I don't think we can do it in scratch because there's no such function. A couple of days later, he told me that, ah, sir, I've done the thing, I've coded it. He said that he's looked at other people's code and he did tell me that the cost tangent as well as sign does exist in Scratch. So, yep. Okay, so now, look, I've decided I bought a towel and I, I can place it anywhere I want. Okay, so it's, um, it can, you can actually um, choose the location of your towers. Okay. So, um, lots of details he's put into the game. There's six towers, six points you can put on the, in, in the game. You can actually, uh, shortly, I'll buy more towers. Once we fill up the six towers, once we fill up the six towers, they are actually, um, they are actually, they actually upgrade paths and other things. Okay, so I want you guys to look at the details he has taught and put into the game. Wow. Uh, he did tell me they spent uh, over 30 hours to do it, but the 30 hours that he spent, I believe it's um, time well spent. It's actually quite a, a high quality, well thought of game. Okay, let's buy the last towel. Oh, no money. Oh, God, God, God. Okay. Okay. By the way, guys, if you want to try the game, you can check out the link below. As long as you've got a PC or a laptop, you're able to play the game. Note that this won't be available on uh, mobile devices and tablets, okay? So you need a PC to try the game. Okay, so once you have, a, uh, have oh, sorry, the new towers, you need, it actually tracks it by following mouse. It doesn't uh, track the object, okay? And uh, once you have, once you have uh, put it six towers, you can have the upgrade options that will appear. Okay, so we're going to finish this level first before I show you the upgrade and then we'll go and review the codes that he has done. Okay, uh, I challenge other students or even adults who think they are good at programming to do a game like this at this level. Lots of little details he put into the game, um, and I think it's uh, well done. Okay, come on, uh, upgrade. Okay, once you click, notice that uh, it changes. It's got this uh, like cape, and the bullets are different, and they are different upgrades throughout the game. Okay, so let me just click this upgrade again, and yep, there you go. So there are many upgrades, and uh, here there's an unlock. You can unlock other things to appear in within the game. There are ten levels all together. Okay. Let's stop the game now and let's review his codes, okay? Right, okay, so this is the code for the balloons that appears. You can show the costume here. This is the, the red the red balloon, okay? And uh, look, there are 10 stages. This is how he codes it, how it's, uh, how many objects are created in each level. So there's 150 for level 7, there's uh, 230 balloons in uh, level 8, and so on, okay? Let's look at some of his other codes, um, the tower. If you look at the tower, like I said earlier on, he had to code it, and uh, he actually used this function here, point in the direction of 90 degrees, minus the a tangent of uh, y divided by x. I can't remember what uh, a tan does. Okay, I could remember that you need to use cos and sine to know the xy location, but I really can't remember how he got this. But he did say that he he looked at other people's code and he just uh, copied the code. But nevertheless, Scratch is a powerful program. You can actually program this in, okay? So to the other students, I challenge you guys to make a game of this quality. And to Kai Singh, this is job well done. Proud of you.
Good night, guys.